All right. Anybody that gets a phone call from Eddie Hearn to fight Anthony Joshua at the heavyweight division should take the fight. You are fighting for three titles. Three. And you're probably going to fight for your biggest purse ever. You should be taking a fight. I've been waiting to see what's going on with Ortiz. At first, I thought it was because Ortiz was not going to take a fight last minute. You know, with this amount of time. Then it became Michael Hunter. Now it's Andy Ruiz. Uh, and now we're getting this news about Luis Ortiz. If you're going to come out and make a statement like the one that was made today about how you weren't going to be silent about everything that's going on and why the fight is not going to take place, give us some numbers so we can have a better understanding of what's really going on behind the scenes. Don't say that you're not going to stay silent, but continue to stay silent by not giving us any details. What is a low ball offer? Because just last year you fought Wilder for 500K. You didn't even get 1 million out of that fight. Now, am I expecting you to get exactly what Jarrell Miller did? No, I'm not expecting that. Jarrell Miller promoted this fight. Everything about this fight is about him. Because he was the opponent. I don't know how all of that works. So I'm not going to go there. I don't know when it comes to replacement opponents. I just wouldn't expect any replacement opponent to get as much as the main opponent. This was promoted based on the Gerald Miller. Okay. Luis Ortiz. All right. I love Luis Ortiz. But dog, how much is low ball? Like, I really need to know. Because I read two things. I read that these guys didn't even get sent an offer. And then I read that these guys were giving low ball offers. So which one is it? They didn't send a contract. Like, what? what's going on? Did they, what, they didn't send a contract you like. Did they not make an offer you like? What, what's going on? How low was the offer? Was it $1 million? Was it $2 million? Was it $3 million? I mean, that's all less than Gerald Miller. So what is considered low ball? Because all of these guys are turning down a fight with Anthony Joshua. Dillian White turned it down because he said the same thing. Deontay Wilder turned down the whole $100 million deal with the zone. And now Luis Ortiz is turning down a fight because he's not getting paid enough. But when it comes to anybody else, like a Deontay Wilder, they'll take 500000 You took 500000 to fight Deontay Wilder. I need to know how low that low ball is. I need to know. Like, was it five hundred k? Was it a million? I mean, at bare minimum, I, I, I don't know, man. It's just like it's a it's an opportunity to fight for three titles. You want your rematch against Wilder. You knock out Anthony Joshua. You beat him. You're gonna get your fight with Wilder. You're already a PBC fighter. What is going on? Who's doing what behind the scenes? Who's really the problem is? Like here, or do you just not want to fight Anthony Joshua? Is it because you don't have the time to prepare? You want more time. Just say that. If it is that deep down inside, just say that. I rather you say that. I respect you more for saying that. Or was the offer made to you so ridiculous, so disrespectful that you had to just say no? 
it was weird because it's like Wilder said the same thing. Wilder was saying that he's not doing this for money. I mean, and he turned down $100 million. So what exactly is it at this point? Are all of you guys really just ducking Anthony Joshua? Because, like, when it was Floyd, anybody was ready to get in the ring with him. They were getting their highest pay. And the crazy thing is, a lot of these opponents that are turning down Wilder is getting offered more money than what Floyd opponents were getting paid. What did Maidana get, like a million? Two million? To fight Floyd Mayweather? Dude, Anthony Joshua, is the, the he's, he's getting paid more per fight than any other fighter currently. Him and Canelo. So what is the problem? You are fighting for three belts. This is getting... The heavyweight division has got to be the softest division. That and the welterweight division. They got to be the scariest fighters ever. Like, this is ridiculous. You're getting a chance to fight Anthony Joshua for three belts. You take the damn fight. You take it for free if you have to. You fight for three belts. If you win the fight. All right, don't, all right, I'm going crazy. Don't fight for free. You got to get paid. But you just took a fight with Ant, with Deontay Wilder for $500,000. You even haven't even scratched a million yet. You are 40 whatever years old, bro. You do not turn down opportunities like this. At this point in your career, you don't, he doesn't even need to fight you. From according to Wilder, you stay in the gym. If you are geared and say that you really want this fight, like you claim you're saying in this message, bro, you have to take the fight. Take the fight. You win negotiations, everything is on your terms. How low was it? Because anything less than 500K is ridiculous to me. You take the fight even for 500K. And I know it wasn't that low. I know it wasn't that low. You're not getting paid, offered 500,000 to fight Anthony Joshua. There's a reason why those numbers weren't brought up with your statement. So... Listen, I like Ortiz, man, but yo, this, I hate to talk bad about him, but yo, this is getting ridiculous, bro. Joshua came out and said you, he wanted you first. I know you don't like Eddie because you dealt with Eddie before and that didn't last long and then you jumped over to PBC, whatever. But yo, you do not turn, is it? Is it really Luis Ortiz? This is another thing. This is this is why I said I don't like promoters. Is this whose fault really is this? Because now we can't even take the fighter's word because if their manager or their promoter is telling you behind the scene not to take, we, I don't even know what to believe at this point because all the facts are not coming out. They're not giving us it. They're just coming out with statements, little short statements. Is it Al? Ortiz, do you feel you're not ready? Do you need more time? What is it, bro? But anybody in the world in the heavyweight division that is not currently scheduled, even if you are scheduled, should be taking this fight. This is a fight of a lifetime. You have to take the fight. That's it. That's all I can really say. It's, it's that simple. This is Anthony Joshua. If you could fight him, if you can fight uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez, you just take the fight. You stop what you're doing. You take the fight. You take the fight. You can fight Manny Pacquiao. Take the fight. Just take it. Just take it. Stop what you're doing. Take the fight. That's it. That's my thoughts on it. Peace.